is called CRA, which stands for Concrete Representational Abstract. How it works is you, if when you want to teach a concept, you start with a concrete example of that concept, something tactile, something that the kids can mess with, can fool around with, can actually touch. Then you move on to representational, which is a pictorial representation of the concrete thing you just used. Finally, you move on to abstract, which is basically the generalized thing that you want them to take away from your lesson. Today, we're going to use CRA in binomial expansion, and to do that, we're going to start with our concrete step of algebra tiles. Now, these are our algebra tiles here. The big one we'll call have an area, having an area of x by x. The skinny one has an area of 1 by x, and the small one has an area of 1 by 1. And we are going to use them to model the binomial expansion of x plus 3 times x plus 1. And what you do is you take your big square and your skinny rectangles and line it up so that you have your x, the big one, plus 3, the small ones, on one axis. And then on the other axis you have x plus 1. And then use your small squares to fill in the blanks so that you have a rectangle. When you count out what you have left, you'll find your expanded polynomial. In this case, it's x squared, the big rectangle, plus 3x, plus 1x, plus 3. Or simplified, x squared, plus 4x, plus 3. Next, we're going to move into our representational step, and to do that we're going to use a method called the box method. What you do is first you draw a box. And inside that box you divide it into quadrants. Along the top side and the left side of this box you write your binomials, in this case x plus 3 and x plus 1. Now you can see how this is a pictorial representation of what we just did. The x by x box represents the x squared algebra tile that we just used. The x by 3 and x by 1 boxes represent the skinny re rectangles, and the 3 by 1 box represents the small squares. What we do is we multiply the different parts of the binomial and put them in these boxes. So first you have x, by, x times x, or x squared then 3 times x, or 3x, then 1 times x, or 1x, and finally 3 times 1, or 3. Now you add all those together, giving you x squared plus 3x plus 1x plus 3. Or simplified, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now we're going to move into the abstract portion of our lesson, which is the FOIL method. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. And what you do is you take your two binomials and write them next to each other. First, you multiply together the first two terms, the F in FOIL, and you get X squared. Then you multiply the outer two, the O in FOIL, and you get 1X. Then you multiply the inner two, the i in FOIL, and you get 3x. Then you multiply the last two, the l in FOIL, and you get 3. When you add all these together, you get x squared plus 1x plus 3x plus 3, or simplified, x squared plus 4x plus 3. And that is the abstract way of doing binomial expansion, and that is the way that you would probably want your student that is the thing you'd probably want your students to take away from this lesson. And that is a practical application of how to apply CRA to a math lesson, in this case, binomial expansion.